Joining us now on the Megacast are Maureen Mansfield and Mark Boyd from the Farmington Players, whose production of Death Trap begins on May 6th. Thank you both for joining us. Thanks. Thank Thank you. you. Appreciate you coming on. So Maureen, you are the director of this production uh, of of Death Trap. It begins on May 6th, runs through the 21st at the Farmington Players. Tickets have already been on sale. They've been on sale since February. So so for those that may be interested in seeing a show this summer at the Farmington Players, tell us what Death Trap is all about. Well, Death Trap is billed as a comedic thriller. It's written by Ira Levin, who has written some blockbusters like uh, Rosemary's Baby and The Stepford Wives. So he's he is a very prolific author. Um, it's about one successful Broadway playwright, Sidney Brewell, who Mark plays, who's struggling to overcome a dry spell that's resulted in the string of flops and it's left him financially in trouble or so he thinks. Um, a workshop student, Clifford Anderson, sends him this brilliant new script that has blockbuster potential. So he and his wife, Myra, have this discussion about stealing the script. And I really don't want to give you any more information because it's going to spoil the show. And there are so many twists and turns and surprises in the show that you really have to come see it to see what happens. I can tell you there's a couple of other wonderful characters. There's a psychic. There's an attorney who does not is not who he appears to be. The set alone is worth the price of a ticket. It's amazing. There are weapons galore. Um, and these are real weapons. Um, they're a little scary to handle but we rented them from a company called Ring of Steel out of Ann Arbor. And they're all over the set. Um, The set really is one of the most phenomenal sets I've ever had the pleasure of directing on. It's pretty nice, yeah. I I think it's beautiful. And so Mark, we're also joined by Mark Boyd, who is acting in this production. He's playing, as uh, as Maureen said, Sidney Brewell uh, in this production of Death Trap. Can you tell us about Sydney, about this character, and, wh- and what drew you to to Sydney as somebody that you could play in this production or would be interesting, uh, interested in playing in the theater? Uh, I, I was the right age. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, it's a, it, uh, the main thing is I just loved the entire script. I was, uh, I had never read it before, before the auditions, and uh, uh, in I was so surprised at how many turns that it took, unexpected turns that um, that were just enjoyable to see. And uh, and uh, the fact that just about everyone in the play is not who they seem, <laughs> or I guess three fifths of the play is not who they seem. Uh, it's interesting to play a character like that, that uh, has uh, something up their sleeve that they're not divulging to anyone. And then you find out later what that was about. So it's it's just a, a fascinating uh, study of of uh, deceit, I think. <laughs> more information is on their website, farmingtonplayers.org. You can learn more about Death Trap, purchase tickets as well. Again, that's farmingtonplayers.org. You can also email box office at farmingtonplayers.org or call 248-553-2955 for tickets and more information, 248-553-2955. Five five to purchase tickets and learn more information. And so, uh, there is also a movie of the same title called Death Trap. Uh, that star- uh, same uh, same storyline, same same script. It includes Michael Caine, Christopher Reeve, uh, and and Dylan Cannon. It's a lot different to perform a story for the stage than it is for film or for other mediums uh, a- as well. And so, Maureen, as you're Maureen, as you're uh, preparing this play and, and directing this play, going through the blocking, coaching the actors, uh, preparing this show for that environment at the Farmington Players. Did you take any inspiration from the movie or is this entirely just fresh ideas based on the script that's in front of you? Yeah, I didn't uh, take any ideas from the movie. Honestly, the movie, I don't think did a great job of telling Ira Levin's story. <laughs> Uh, They tried to be things that the script wasn't, as so often happens when you try to translate something to the big screen. Um, There's really only a few 
movies, I think they did a good job of it. And maybe I'm just being a, a theater person, uh, but, <laughs> but I really think the script belongs on the stage in a one room, you know, setting two acts, three scenes, the way Ira Levin wrote it. Yeah, I would agree. I, I, uh, the, 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 uh, and there's a much different approach too. I mean, as an actor, you, you, you try not to look at other prior performances, I think, it, just come up with your own ideas, make it your own. Um, so I, uh, I, I, I'm going from the script and, um, and it's a different approach also, just the fact that the, the uh, it's a different medium. You're on a stage, on a live stage with a live audience as opposed to uh, in front of a camera. I've done a lot of independent and, and uh, otherwise uh, movies and, and TV and it's, that's a different, it's a different thing to have that camera right in your face as opposed to uh, the, the broader production where you see the in action as though you're in the same room. Especially for a comedy, and for a comedy that's on the stage, because stage acting has to be so much more inflated. You are acting for the people in the in the front row, and you're acting for the people that are as far back in the corner of the seat of the seating as possible in the house on every single show. And every single show is going to be different based on your fellow actors and based on anything that may or that can and may go wrong uh, that you're adjusting for in the, in the whole process. So it's very different between acting in a movie setting where you have multiple takes versus a live stage play, which is live. You are moving through with whatever you have in that moment. And then just from an acting standpoint, it's very different also. And Mark, you have a background in stand-up comedy as well. So acting in a, in a comedic stage play, especially when it's mixing in, as Maureen said, the element of a thriller also, how does that as an actor for you challenge you and how do you overcome those challenges to play the character of Sidney Brule effectively in this production? Well, it's, um, it, it is, you mentioned the stand-up comedy, being, and since that's in front of a live audience, it's, it's, um, that's about the only similarity, just because it is also a, yet a different um, type of performance where uh, it, it, I mean, it, I guess it just makes me as an actor more comfortable if I'm in front of a live audience, just because I did that so much, but it's uh, as opposed to speaking to the individuals in the audience or even as them as a group, um, we are acting as though we are in a scene in a, in a movie uh, because we're talking to each other, listening and reacting to each other. Um, and I think I forgot your question already, so. We're joined by Mark Boyd. We're also joined by Maureen Mansfield, the director of Death Trap with the Farmington Players. More information on the website, farmingtonplayers.org. You can also email box office at farmingtonplayers.org or call 248-553-2955 for more information about the Farmington Players, about Death Trap and other productions coming up as well. And so, Maureen, uh, as the Farmington Players are looking for the next production and they're deciding on a show and they're getting in preparation to hold auditions and, and and uh, build a cast and build a crew and begin preparations for the actual show itself. Uh, how did Death Trap come up as a choice for the Farmington players to, to put on uh, as a early summer production here in, in early May, which begins May 6th? It's an interesting production because it's a comedy, but it's also a thriller. It has elements, uh, you, you mentioned some of the uh, weapons that come into play in the production. So it's a really interesting production for... Uh, any size of a theater, but especially a theater troupe uh, with the size of the Farmington Players? Well, it was actually supposed to go up in fall of 2020. Oh, wow. But of course, COVID shut the world down. And um, when- I thought you put it off just to make sure I was available. That's Well, that was too. our number one concern. COVID was number two. Oh, okay. Um, but when we were choosing our slate to come back with, we were very um, conservative and we decided to choose small cast shows to keep the risk of COVID down and to also keep our costs down. A lot of larger cast shows come with larger royalties, larger budgets. And um, we decided, normally we do a musical in the spring and we decided against it again to be conservative with our finances 
and um, Death Trap just fit perfectly in that slot. It has name recognition. It's something that we feel our uh, patrons will come and see. And it's a lot of fun. It's a great show. And let's, uh, lastly, Mark, before we let the two of you go today, uh, I have to say goodbye for the, for the program. Uh, what is your favorite part about, about this production? What makes this production of Death Trap enjoyable for you as an actor and as a performer? I, I I kind of alluded to it earlier. It's the it's the surprises and it's the uh, the twists and turns that they take. It's the it's the layers of the character that are not known for uh, uh, you know and they, they kind of get exposed as we go through the show. So it's a uh, it, it's it's an interesting ride. I think so. I hope it is anyway. If I may say one more thing. Sure. As you can tell, Mark is a very accomplished actor. He is not the only one. Everybody else in this cast is just as accomplished as Mark is. It's probably the most accomplished and experienced cast I have ever had the pleasure of directing. These, um, they almost direct themselves. <laughs> it has truly been a pleasure and an ease putting the show up. Come see it. If you don't, you're missing something special. I would agree. I've enjoyed working with everyone and you as well, Maureen. Everybody seems to work together very easily as a, as a team. And uh, they do, everybody does a great job. I've been very pleased. You can see Death Trap through the Farmington Players, May 6th to, through 21st at the Farmington Players location on 12 Mile in Farmington Hills. More information on the website, farmingtonplayers.org, or call 248-553-2955 for ticket information. Maureen, Mark, thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you. you.